brought to you by the Every Dollar app. Start budgeting for free today. I have a situation where um, I received a little bit of money from a, a car accident settlement, and um, at the time, my girlfriend was helping me out. She's a lifelong friend, uh, graduate 90, class of 91, will be South High School. All right, and, shout out. Um, I had given her, um, she had asked me if she could borrow some money upon receiving it, and she had been such a big help. And I said on one condition, we went and we wrote it up and we got it notarized um, and everything, you know, our agreement between ourselves. And so um, she had a copy, I had a copy. Um, Right away she defaulted on it due to um, uh, losing a couple cleaning accounts. Mm -hmm. And um, so um, I tried to establish some other kind of understanding of how I was going to get my money back. Well, it started to become an issue and then the less, you know, return calls. Anyways, long story short, um, the last interact, this happened um, September of 2023 and it was a sum of $3,000. I had gotten approximately 290 of it back, which was from very small increments over cash app um, from her in this last 12 months, um, 13 months, I should say, at this point. Okay. Anyways, um, we had a falling out um, at the end of August, two months ago. Um, Over the money? The falling out was over the money? Yes. Okay. Yes. Um, And um, I knew she had had some health issues. Well, um, it came to my attention on October 5th that um, on September 1st, two months ago, that she had passed away. Oh, wow. She... So sorry. And um, yeah, thank you. I'm sorry also to her and her family and everybody involved. Um, she will be greatly missed. But besides the point, um, you never know when it's the last time there was terrible things said. But we go so back, back so far that I know that people say things when they're upset. Anyways, yeah. um, it wasn't a good conversation, and I am just wondering what my options would be to go forward. I know that she was a business owner. Go forward um, with what? Know. Um, well, does the debt go away with her? Or um, she did have, she does have a property. I do believe that her mother's on it with her, um, but she was the one that was residing in the home. Um, do I have any legal footing to try to obtain the balance of this loan that her and I had legally written up and agreed to? Um, or would it just lie within a lien on this property? Nicole, I got to be honest with you. I'm struggling with this one. Um, me, me too. Thank you. I, I'm i struggling. I hate that your friend passed. I hate that it happened on bad terms. I hate that you had words. She did owe you money. And Ken, Ken feel free to, to knock me back to I gotta, my senses on uh, this, but well, well, first of all, I got to know what you're saying first. I think you were. I think you uh, and I are on the same wavelength. Is my guess. I think that if you, I, I, I'm, I'm just talking from Jade, I feel it. like if a, a buddy of mine that I was really close with, yeah. and we fell out over three thousand dollars at this point, twenty seven hundred dollars, and the last it, it caused us to fall out. The last words that I said to her were ugly, and, and vice versa about this money. That would be my biggest sign that I need to let it go. I'm with you. I need to let it go, and yeah. it's caused enough heartache and pain. That, Nicole, that's just me. Nicole, I, I would just say very quickly, um, we, we are sorry, very sorry for yeah. your loss, but I will tell you, um, our studio audience, those that will watch this on YouTube, the cringe factor for Jade and I was, was equal and very high. And I do not say that flippantly i'm not saying no. that to insult you i'm saying that we're completely objective people and you called and i will tell you i cringed my face cringed and and yeah, so same. did jade and i couldn't agree with jade more i i think this is first of all uh i'll just give you my best i'm not a lawyer uh-huh so number one it doesn't feel right i agree with jade she said it perfectly i endorse everything she just said but my guess is, is that you don't have any legal standing either. And I don't even think you should pursue this. I think you need to let this go. But I don't think you have any legal standing in this situation. And the time and the time and money it would take to try to play this out with her estate, you're going to end up spending way more than $3,000. So mm-hmm. uh, the studio audience is nodding their head. And, and here's what I so think. I think Here, that's right. Nicole, to your, to your um, credit, let me say it like this. I... 
what this is telling me is that you're not a bad person. You're not nothing like that. We're not trying to to be ugly towards you. Yeah. What I think is that you're in a tough financial situation. And what I know from personal experience is when you're in a tough financial experience, it clouds your judgment. And I think that that's part of what's going on. And I, my guess is that if everything was on the up and up for you financially and you felt more comfortable in your financial setting, this would have been a no thing but a chicken wing to you. Is but that be- true, Nicole? Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, yes. she's spot I'm, on. I'm, Let's help you there. Um, How can we help you there? we got a couple minutes. How can we help you? What's your financial situation? Give us the super quick rundown. Oh, well, she well, she knew what my situation was. Um, I had just recently received a uh, moratorium um, from over the whole COVID um, situation with uh-huh. my home. Uh-huh. I'm a single white female. I have nobody. I lost over 27 people since COVID all hit. Oh, my um, gosh. So I'm on my own. I'm on full disability. Um, I was. Uh, she knew that that money was going to go towards getting my mortgage back on track. So um, is it back I, on track I've yet? Already, Did you get the mortgage back no, on track? No, I'm. I'm probably going to have to um, forfeit. You know, yeah. the situation, which is okay because I've already said it out loud. Um, yes, it's but it's painful. Person. Mm. And and um, when you say cringe, I just want to um, be clear because you said no insult, you know, which is not supposed to be. And um, I did originally went um, looking around to see what was out there, even to even research what, mm-hmm. any options I would have. Mm-hmm. And I came across the Ramsey show. Yeah. And as I was listening to um, that particular episode or what, what not? I heard a similar situation. It was there wasn't nobody who passed away, but um, yeah, yeah. Uh, Mr. Ramsey yeah. mentioned that you know when you loan money to somebody, and it's especially you know it's a personal um, relationship um, that uh, it changes hey, things. Nicole, Nicole, I hate to do this to you. We are running up against a commercial break, but I want you to hang on the line, uh, Kelly. I would like to gift her. Um, a a session with one of our financial coaches she's in a really tough spot and um, they can really help you see what all your options are so uh, nicole hang on the line we'll take care of that for you as our gift hang in there better days are ahead create your free every dollar budget today the simplest way to budget for your life